Here we go. So find yourself a space, lie onto your mat. Just get really comfortable. Before we start, we're gonna just get our body to relax. So lying onto your back. You can have your knees bent up or you can have your legs out straight. Go wherever you're comfortable. But what I want you to try and do is just take a few deep breaths from here. And each time you take a deep breath in, take an awareness of what's making contact with the mat. And as you breathe out, imagine yourself sinking deeper into the mat, almost like it's giving you a hug. Okay. And as you take a nice deep breath in, draw it all the way in through your nose, all the way down through the top of the rib cage into the bottom, right down deep into your, into your belly as you take a nice deep breath in and slowly breathe out through your mouth. Imagining that mat's giving you a bit of a hug. There we go, a couple more breaths. Just asking your shoulders to relax. Tuck your hips up towards you and then roll your hips away. We're not lifting your hips up off the mat, we're just rolling. So draw your hips towards you, feel your back flattening down into the mat and then roll your hips away from you and feel that arch being created, that space underneath your back. And what we're doing is just creating a little bit of compression and stretch through those lower vertebrae in our back where those discs are and that compression is helping to re-nourish through the discs. There we go, just keep rolling forwards and backwards and loosen up that tension through your low back. Super. And then when you're ready, bring your knees in towards your chest and just hug them in nice and tight. You can do a little rocking movement or you can just draw them in nice and tight and just feel that stretch. Do so you feel the opening through your low back? Good. And then gently plop your feet back down so the um, feet are making contact with the mat. Make sure you've got space behind you to straighten your legs, um, arms and legs out. And we're going to do both arms go back, one leg lengthens out. See if you can sweep your hands. If you've got the space, sweep your arms all the way round as you circle round to bring everything back in. If you haven't got the space, we're just reaching all the way back and then coming back in. But let's alternate the legs, reach everything out, stretch to the tip of your big toe, the tip of your uh, longest finger, circle the arms around, reach everything out. So this is trying to iron out all of those crinkles and tensions through our connective tissue that is continuous throughout the whole of the body. There we go. We can take a nice deep breath in as everything stretches out and then slowly breathe out as you sink round really reaching and circling around. Let's do a couple more on each side. Lovely. So it should feel nice, smooth, easy movement. Nothing should feel too uh, sore or tender as you do this one. Let's finish with this as the last one. Scoop that knee in and the arms by, by your side. I'm going to get you to bring your knees in towards your chest again. Hug them in. This time you're going to draw some big circles with your knees. So again, we're just getting a bit more movement through that low back. So we'll do a few circles around in one direction and then we'll circle the knees around in the other direction. Fantastic. Okay, slide your hands behind your knees. You're gonna take a nice breath in, fill the lungs and as you breathe out, stretch your legs all the way up towards the ceiling. So feel that length through the back of your legs. Breathe in, hug your knees in towards your chest and breathe out, lengthen the legs out. There we go. Breathing in, hug the knees in and breathe out, lengthen. Good. Breathe in, tuck in. Really open through your low back. Breathe out, feel that length. So get your toes as close over towards, so they're over your head as you can. That's it. Lovely. Let's do two more. Breathe in, breathe out, lengthen. I get a little bit of a shake at the end. There we go. I certainly have. There we go. And then place the knee, or sorry, the feet back down onto the mat. And we're going to rotate through the back. So drop your knees gently down to one side. Let gravity do its thing, drawing the knees down 
and then just pivot the knees back up and over to the other side, let your knees drop down. Lovely. Dropping those knees down. Feel that stretch coming all the way up through your low back. Each time you drop your knees down towards the floor, that rotation is going to come a little bit higher up through your spine. So we're starting to work in all the way through the low back and up through the lower part of your upper back as well. Fantastic. Let's just do one more drop to each side. And this time we're going to stay. So drop your knees down to one side and let the knees stay there. Try and keep your shoulders flat on the mat and take your arms out nice and wide. Now your top knee might not drop anywhere um, near the bottom knee, depends how uh, flexible that low back is feeling at the moment. So just let it rest where it's comfortable. Don't force it down if it doesn't feel like it's going to go. With your fingertips, I want you to really push them wide as if you're being drawn to two different sides of the room through your arms. And if you want an extra stretch, turn to look away from your knees. And as you're here, just take a couple of deep breaths, really open that lower part of the rib cage. There we go. Perhaps as you breathe out, your knees might start to sink into that stretch and that top knee. You might start to drop a little bit lower down. Let's do one more breath here. Perfect. Now from um, here, the top knee, I want you to draw it higher up in towards your chest and use the hand that's closest to it to draw it um, over. So now we get a nice stretch through your bottom, through those glute muscles there. You can leave the other arm still out and back, but use your hand that's closest to your knee just to draw it down a little bit. So you're, you're aiding the stretch. What you're not doing is creating too much tension that it's, it, it gives you any pain. You're just easing yourself deeper into that stretch. And again, with your breathing, as you breathe out, just draw that knee down a little bit more, an encouragement, not, not a force. Perfect. Okay, scoop the lower knee up so both knees are together and then swing your knees in towards your chest as you roll yourself over to the other side. And we're going to drop the knees down now. Okay, so again, that top knee might not go anywhere near the ground. It might go a bit further than it did the other side, but it, you don't need to force it down. Keep your arms nice and wide. Imagine they're being pulled to either sides of your room. And if you want to, look away. So look to the opposite direction of your knees. And just do a few deep breaths and open up that rib cage. So we're still getting that stretch through your chest. Watch your shoulder doesn't start to come up and follow you. Keep your shoulders placed down onto the mat. And with your breathing, as you breathe out, just ask your glutes, ask your low back just to soften a little bit and just see if that arm can just encourage a little bit more, um, dis well, shorten that distance between your knee and the floor. Perfect. Let's just do one more breath in that position. And then scoop the lower knee up as well. So both knees are together and you can roll, come back to center. I'm gonna take you up to sitting. So use your hands just to roll yourself up. And you're going to sit onto the mat. Tuck one leg out the way. If it's not comfortable to come right in like this, um, just have it where it feels comfortable because we're working towards the other leg. So with this, we're going to lengthen through the back of the hamstrings here. So you're twisting the whole of your spine. So you're facing the leg we're going down to, and it's a fold forward from the hips. So lengthen your spine. Imagine you've been lifted up, first of all, and then fold forward. So your chest is coming down towards your knee, and you're walking your hands towards your ankle. So again, we've done this one a few times before. We're working with the breathing. So you take a nice breath in and just maintain that position. Try not to, as you breathe in, you kind of get that sensation that you want to pull back. Try and refrain from doing that. So breathe in, hold the position. And then as you breathe out, let everything go heavy. Your chest lowers down towards your knee, your hands walk further towards your ankle. There we go, take a nice breath in. 
and breathe it out as you sink down walk your hands a little bit closer you may be wrapping your hands around the sole of your feet you may be somewhere still near your knee it doesn't matter just see if you can get just a tiny bit further on each out breath one more breath breathe out sink down stretch a little bit further down and on your next in breath just walk your hands back up keep that same leg out so I've got my right leg out. My right arm is going to come and stretch down towards the inside of my ankle. I'm going to hold uh, my arm in this position. The other arm is going to come all the way up and over the top. So I'm trying to sort of create this letter C with my arms. There we go. So with this top arm is now creating the stretch. So I'm lengthening all the way up through my side. And again, this works nicely with the breathing because we're really opening the lower part of the rib cage there. So as you breathe in, feel that space happening between those ribs there. And as you breathe out, see if that top arm can lower down towards your toes a little bit more. Okay, breathe in, hold your position and breathe out. See if it'll sink over. Fantastic. Now, as you breathe in, bring the top arm up take it back so it's now going behind your shoulder so it's reaching back to the wall behind you with the hand that's still um, by your ankle I want you to push it into your ankle so essentially you're going to be pushing both hands backwards and at the same time imagine someone's got hold of your head and lifting it so both hands are pushing backwards and your neck is lengthening here we go so we're opening up through the chest feel a nice stretch through the chest your shoulders should be starting to get a little bit warm there we go. And you can now turn to look up towards your, the tips of your fingers that are up towards the ceiling, only if your neck allows you to. That's it. Now on the last breath, just see if you can push your hand a little bit further back as you breathe out. There we go. Now we're really opening up through the chest. And gently just lower that arm and slide your other arm up Ooh, through the leg. Let's swap sides. So tuck the other leg in. Other leg goes out. So same again, we're going to fold forwards from the hips now. So twist your spine so you're facing the leg we're going to. Fold forwards from your hips, chest goes down towards your knee and walk your hands to where they feel comfortable. So you're feeling that tension through the back of the leg. It should be a nice warming tension, uh, not one that makes your eyes water. Okay. So hold that position. Remember, as you breathe in, try not to re recoil back with your hands, try and hold that position so it just adds a bit more to the stretch. And then as you breathe out, soften the chest down, lengthen the hands away from you and see if you can just ask your back to, to release into it. Breathe in and breathe out, walk your hands down, stretch a bit further, Let's do one more. There we go, walk the hands forward, it's nice. Now this time on the in-breath, just walk your hands back up through the leg. So you're coming back up to sitting. Uh, same arm as the leg is, that's out, stretch your arm down so you're reaching. Almost do a twist through your spine so you're creating, um, your, your spine is now facing towards the opposite leg. And then your top arm is going to come over and we're making that sort of C shape with the arms. So take a nice deep breath in, feel the ribs open and expand through those lower rib cage. And as you breathe out, see if that top arm will just drop down towards your foot a little bit further. Here we go. Take a nice breath in. And breathe out, let it sink down. Nice. There we go, breathe in. And breathe out, last one. And then take the arm up towards your ceiling push the hands backwards so push your hand back towards the wall behind you and push the hand into the back of your hand into your ankle so as you do that push you can feel the chest opening some more there we go so we get a nice um, release through the chest good That's it. and then you can look up towards your fingertips that are looking uh, that are reaching up towards the ceiling and as you breathe out just see if that back arm will, or the top arm will drop back towards the wall a little bit more just a bit more opening through the chest Perfect, and then relax the arm through and sit yourself up. We're gonna tuck the knees in and come over onto all fours. So we're in this position here. Perfect. So think about your shoulders being over top of your wrists, 
your hips over the top of your knees in this position. If your wrists don't like it, you can come up onto um, your fists. Uh, other ways that people can do this, if you get a can of baked beans, you can put your hands over the baked beans like that because that will protect your wrist position as well. But from here, we're going to work with the neck first of all, work down the spine. So just bring your, bring your chin to your chest and then roll your chin so you're looking over one shoulder and then pause for just a second and then rotate round towards the other shoulder. Once you get to one side, just pause for a second and then start to rotate to the other side. So we're using gravity to create a stretch through the neck and we're using the head to rotate to just help nourishing through those joints in the um, or the discs through our neck. And for the last few, we're going to draw a circle. So imagine your nose is drawing a circle on your mat. So it's skipping round around your chest and then you're drawing that circle in front of you. It's a really nice way to articulate through the neck and not put too much extension through. Let's change direction to a couple. all the way up so tuck your hips under push through your hands so your shoulders go up towards the ceiling and then we're breathing out we're sinking through the opposite direction so lift the hips lift the chest look forward breathe in tuck under really push the spine up towards the ceiling there we go and then breathe out sink through lift the hips lift the chest let's do two more Fantastic. Finish up the last one. Do a really big push up. Tuck your hips under as much as you can. Really feel that spread between your shoulder blades and then sink through. Open up through the chest and then come back to the start point. So you're in the middle and we're just going to articulate the lower part of the spine now. So you're going to imagine you're holding a pencil with your bottom and you're going to imagine you're drawing a circle. So we're swiveling those hips around, drawing a circle with your bottom. So we're going to do a little bit of flexion extension through the spine, but we're asking the hips just to shift from one side to the other. And we're creating that, um, again, some compression and some movement through the discs. That again, helps to nourish through those, through those areas. Let's change directions. Rotate it through. There we go. It's like you're doing a horizontal hula hoop <laughs> in slow motion. There we go. And when you finish that one, let's just sit back right onto the heels. I think if you, for this one, if you open your knees much wider, you'll allow yourself to get much deeper down into the stretch. So open your knees wider and really stretch your fingertips out and pop your head down onto your mat. There we go. Push your fingertips out as far as you can. Really feel that stretch through your shoulders. Take a nice deep breath in and feel your rib cage open. And slowly breathe out, sink into it. We'll do two more breaths here. There we go, last one, nice deep breath. And slowly bring yourself out of that. Okay, so from here, we're gonna take one leg, we're gonna thread it through between the knee and your hands. Lengthen that back leg out, so you're coming into this position, and we'll go right down into the stretch, so elbows come down. So if you're not sure of this one, you're tucking that leg, try and take it so it goes straight across. If it doesn't do that, if your hip doesn't like it, it can come more at an angle, so um, the knee's coming more forwards. If you can tuck it under, drop them down onto your elbows, lengthen that back leg out. So the aim is to get the stretch right into your glutes here. So what I want you to do is just lean into that into that side so you can feel the stretch. There we go. So you should feel that releasing all the way through there into the glutes. If you've got any pain in your um, in your groin, that's not normal. So either shift yourself around a little bit to see if you can get comfortable or come out so that you're lifting up out of it a little bit more, which is where we're going to come in a second. So we'll just make sure we've got enough stretch going through those glutes. 
And then you're going to place your hands in front of you, lift you up. So if you haven't changed the legs at all, just push your hands into, bring them closer to you. Lift um, your chin, let your shoulder blades slide down through your back and lift your chin up towards the corner of your room. Okay, now here, if this, is, if this is as far as you want to go with the exercise, then stick here, stick with this. If you want to take it a little bit more, what we're going to do is leave one hand onto the floor. The hat, so the leg that's tucked under, that's the arm we're going to use. You're going to lift it and you're going to twist to look up towards the room the other side. So watch you don't create any tension through your back. Again, it's a stretch, it's a stretch and release. It's not something that we're working too hard. So sweep the arm up, look towards your fingers. We're opening through the chest and we're getting a bit more of a stretch through your back. So hold it there. And again, taking that breath in is really gonna open through the rib cage. And then we can sweep it through. So this time, as it comes down towards the floor, there's a space between your hands and your knees. And I want you to thread it all the way through but thread the needle. So we're kind of combining two moves together. So you push your hand all the way through. You're gonna feel that stretch across your shoulder blades as you twist through, and it might get a little bit deeper into your glutes as well. Super. Good, don't forget to breathe. Keep breathing as you're here. We're gonna do it one more time. So we're gonna lift all the way up and look. Hold it. And then when you're ready, sweep it through, push all the way through, reach towards your wall. That's it. Trying to get your shoulders close down to the mat as you can. And come through. Let's swap the legs around. So come out of that one. I'm going to take the opposite leg through. So this is how it threads through, first of all. And then lengthen the other leg back so you're sinking down deep into it and we'll lower down onto the elbows first of all. Good. So remember just shuffle around a little bit so you can feel that stretch into your glutes so you might need to lean into it a little bit so take your um, center of gravity off towards the side that you want to stretch. There we go. Perfect, and then again, come up onto your hands. So hands come a bit closer towards your knee now and lift your uh, head up towards the ceiling, providing you're not feeling dizzy or um, anything like that. So just look up, lift the chin, feel the stretch through the front of your throat and slide your shoulder blades down towards your back pockets. Perfect. Okay, so again, if this is enough for you and you want to stay here, that's absolutely fine. If not, the knee that is tucked or the leg that's tucked under you, that's the arm that you're using. So I've got right leg tucked under, it's right arm that's going to go up and I'm going to reach up towards the ceiling, feeling that twist through the spine, but opening through the chest, hold it up. So just a couple of breaths in this position, feel that stretch through your chest. And then when you're ready, the arm sweeps through, find the gap between your hands and your knee and you're going to twist and lengthen it all the way through, trying to get that shoulder down. Now you can feel that stretch getting deeper into your glutes as you come down into this position. There we go, just hold it for a few breaths again. And then when you're ready, we do it one more time. So lift, reach up towards the ceiling, look towards your hand. Couple of breaths. and then sweep it through, glide it along the floor, let your shoulder come down towards the mat as much as you can. Don't worry if it doesn't touch, just allow it to just drop down if it can. Fantastic. There we go, so we've really tied ourselves in knots with this one. <laughs> okay, and slide back through. Okay, untuck those legs, come up to kneeling. If you're on a harder surface, make sure you've got something soft underneath your knees so it's comfortable. We're coming into our nine, whoop, <laughs> lost my balance there, a 90 degrees position. Okay, so the line of, should be going through is shoulders, hips and knee is nice and straight. So you're not leaning forwards into this stretch. You're keeping that nice um, straight plumb line there. Um, and what we're gonna do, we're gonna tuck under with the hips. So 
What I suggest you do for this one is take one of your hands behind your back and put a finger on a high part of your low back and then another finger or your thumb in, uh, on the high part and your finger on the low part of your back. And what I want you to do is from here, we're going to squeeze your bottom muscles and tuck under. And you should feel your fingers slightly separating apart as you're feeling that lengthening through your low back. So squeeze through your bottom, tuck your hips under and just feel that bottom finger being drawn away so that you're opening up through your low back. But at the same time, you're also now feeling the stretch through that leg that you're um, kneeling on. There we go, nice. Good, keep feeling that stretch. And then if you're comfortable to, take your hands down, bring your arms up towards the ceiling and reach up. Keep tucking your hips under, keep thinking about lengthening through that low back. And then gently bring your arms back down. Super, let's swap onto the other side. So drop that knee down, go onto the other side. So again, get your alignment right. So ears, shoulders, hips, knee, everything is in line. Um, you can pop that hand again onto your low back. So finger and a thumb. And what we'll do is squeeze through your glutes. So switch on your bottom muscles and tuck your hips under. So you're doing that scooping action and your lower finger or thumb, whatever's at the bottom, should feel like it's being drawn down and tucked under. It's not gonna move loads, but you will feel that there is a difference as you just keep tucking under. If you're not sure, just release, go back to neutral and then squeeze them again. Just scoot those hips under. Obviously the tighter it is, the less movement's gonna happen, but that's what we're working on. Keep that squeeze through your bottom muscles. And then let your arms relax. And float the arms up towards the ceiling if you feel comfortable to. So we're really lengthening. Imagine someone's taking hold of your wrists and lifting you. So you're lifting your chest and creating space between each of those vertebrae in your spine. There we go, keep lengthening. And then very gently let your arms float back down. And tuck the knee under, come down into your child pose again. Sit and lengthen through. There we go, a couple of deep breaths. And then when you're ready, take yourself over onto your back. Nice and comfortable. Lying onto your back, have your arms out to the side, your palms facing up. Wherever you're comfortable with your legs, either your knees up or you can have your legs out straight, whichever feels good for your low back. And again, we're just gonna finish taking some deep breaths and just loosening through the muscles. I want you to do it through a full body scan. So on your in breath, you're gonna notice which area you're working on. So we could, we'll start with our feet working our way up. So breathe in, notice the pressure at the soles of your feet. And as you breathe out, then your feet just soften and sink down into the mat. Let's do another breath for your feet. Breathe in, notice where your feet are. And breathe out, let those feet soften down into the mat. Good. We'll take the focus up towards knees. If your knees are bent up, again, just notice how much tension is behind your knees, or if your legs are out flat, then just imagine the gravity pulling the knees towards the mat. So breathe in, take a notice of what's happening. And as you breathe out, just allow it to soften and relax. Just tell each of those muscles that it can relax. One more breath there, take a nice slow breath in. And breathe out as you relax. We're coming up to the hips. So hips, pelvis, again, just notice how does it feel as it's making contact with the mat? Does it feel, can you feel where the tension and the tightness is? So as you breathe in, really notice it. And as you breathe out, let it soften. Let your back almost feel like it's sinking into your mat. Another nice breath in. And let it soften. Let the mat almost absorb any tension that's in your back. Let the mat take it away. And then take the tension up towards your, the upper part of your low back, so towards your diaphragm area. Take a nice deep breath in. 
Notice the content and contact on the mat and then breathe out and let everything drop and sink into your mat. There you go, take a nice breath in. And again, just let those ribs soften and sink into the mat. We're coming up to your shoulder blades. Take a nice breath in. Notice where your shoulder blades are. Notice any tension that might be built up in there. And as you breathe out, breathe away that tension. Let your body sink into the mat. Okay, one more deep breath in. And let those shoulder blades sink into the mat. Hold on your back should be starting to get warm and more relaxed now. And let's think of what's going on in the wrists and forearms now. So again, what's happening there? Make sure your hands are open and relaxed. Take a breath in, notice what's going on. And then breathe out, let those hands sink into your floor. There we go. Breathe in again. And let everything just sink into the mat or the floor. We'll come up to your neck. So again, breathe in, feel that, notice how your neck's sitting. Does it feel like it's hunched in or are you able to lengthen out? And as you breathe out again, take the tension through the throat, through the, low, the lower part of your neck. Just again, let everything sink into the mat as if it's there to absorb any tension and take it away. And then lastly, the head. So think of where any tension might be building up through your head. Take, notice it on your in-breath. And breathe out, let the head get heavy. Any tension that's left in the head is getting absorbed by your mat. And one more nice deep breath in. And slowly breathe out, let that tension become absorbed by the mat. On your next in breath, just ask your body if there's anywhere where there's any tension left and take your focus there. And breathe out, breathe that tension out. Just allow that part of your body just to get heavier and sink into the floor. And just let your breathing start to shallow now so we're not taking such a deep breath. As your breath's returning to normal. And if you're still awake, gently bring yourselves up to sit in, or if you prefer to stay there, stay there. I'm just gently going to roll myself up. Make sure you've not got a head rush. Thank you for joining me tonight. I hope you've enjoyed it, and we will be doing the same again next week. <laughs>